Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use a Keurig coffee maker. So these are very simple to use. All of them operate about the same and I'm gonna show you exactly how to use one from the very beginning. So first thing you're gonna need is a K-cup. Here's what a K-cup looks like. It's got a foil on the top. And what's gonna happen is when you put it in the machine, that it's gonna pierce the top of it with either one needle or five needles and it's gonna pierce the bottom of it. Now when it pierces the bottom of it, there is a paper filter that the coffee sits in. So there's always two tablespoons of coffee in a paper filter. And then here's what the bottom of it looks like. There's the other side of that paper filter. So when the needle goes in the bottom, it does not pierce that paper filter. So since Keurig's uh, K-Cups only hold two tablespoons of coffee, the recommended brew is eight ounces through a K-Cup. Now they do have several other numbers, 10 ounces, six ounces. Some coffee makers even have like these big pictures. So you'll have to figure out which one is exactly eight ounces. You can run six ounces through a K-Cup. To me, it's kind of a strong coffee, but that's why they give you all these extra options. Whatever you like, you can brew through it. So 12 ounces through two tablespoons of coffee is pretty watered down for me. So some Keurigs have single, a single needle on top and some Keurigs have multi-brew technology on top. They've got five needles. They operate exactly the same way. They're gonna um, inject hot water in the top of the cake up and then the coffee's gonna come out the bottom, out the bottom of that bottom needle. And then it's gonna come out that bottom needle and it's gonna come out the bottom of that brew basket as coffee. So again, here are some cake cups that have been used. Here's one I cut open even after it's been used. So it just injects hot water in there. It brews the coffee through the coffee grounds, but the coffee grounds are still there after it's done. And then there's that single needle that it pokes in the bottom. Again, it doesn't puncture the bottom of that paper filter. It goes right up to it. So probably the key takeaway is Keurig K-Cups can only hold two tablespoons of coffee and it is in a paper filter. That's gonna limit you on your brew size. Now you may see lots of these Keurig coffee makers. Some have a carbon filter in them, some don't. You are not required to have a filter in your water tank. The carbon water filter inside the tank just helps with taste. It does not prevent the coffee maker from being used. So again, these coffees that I brewed here are eight ounces. So these are pretty much single serve coffees and it does brew the coffee really hot and usually you end up with about 165 degree cup of coffee which can burn your mouth. So Keurigs have a handle that lifts it up and then when you use the handle, it's gonna pierce the top and the bottom at the same time. They all kind of operate with that same, that same mechanism. So let's go over here to the Keurig K-Cafe Smart. We're gonna lift it up. It does have multi-brew technology. You put the cake up, the foil side in, it's only gonna fit one way. You don't have to poke the, the top, the bottom needle onto the cake up, just set it in there. The handle's gonna do all the work. There, it popped both the top and the bottom. You're gonna select your brew size. That goes the same for all of these Keurigs. Again, I always select eight ounces. Eight ounces, and there's usually a brew button, a K button. That starts the brew. You can see they all have, some of these, just when you press the number, it starts the brew. Now that's gonna brew eight ounces through that K cup to give you a coffee. You'll see that it typically starts off a little weak, then it gets stronger in color. And towards the end of the brew, it gets a little weaker in color. But it ends up being just the right amount of coffee and water. Now over here, I did do a classic cinnamon roll. That's just flavored coffee. It still has that bitter taste of coffee, but it does have a flavor to it. And then most Keurigs at the very end, they will send a gush of air through the cake up to kind of clean out the lines with water. And now here is your coffee. Again, very hot to drink, but it does taste delicious. We open it up, there's the cake up. It is, now these can be hot, be careful. So again, these are Nespresso original line pods. These are not cake cups. These are for a different type of coffee maker and those do just espresso shots. So people ask me all the time, can you use your own coffee grounds? So you can use reusable K-cups. They make some for single needle coffee makers and this one is for five needle coffee makers. I've got videos on how to use all, both of these 
in each individual coffee makers. So the ones with five needles, you've got to use the one for five needles up at the top. But you can put your own coffee grounds in and brew yourself a single cup of coffee. Now the thing with these is these only hold two tablespoons of coffee also. So eight ounces is going to be about the max, even with both of these. Even though this one looks a little bit bigger, what's inside is just two tablespoons. There is a filter basket inside there and it holds maybe just a little bit more than two tablespoons, but not much. Now some Keurigs have milk frothers, so you can froth the milk, heat it up and froth it for cappuccinos and lattes. That's what these three do. Some coffee makers have built-in coffee makers, so you can brew a full pot of coffee like the old traditional way, put a filter in, coffee grounds in, it's got a craft. Here we've got the craft, but these do both. You can do a K-cup and a full pot of coffee. Yeah, and even back here on the K-Slim, pretty much the same thing. Even they, though they give us a bunch of choices, eight ounces is gonna be pretty much the standard brew, but you can do more if you'd like. Check out my other videos. I do have detailed videos on all of these coffee makers, how to use make different drinks, how to use reusable K-cups. I also have D-Scale, so they do have D-Scale lights on some of them. Check out my videos on how to D-Scale them. So I hope this video helps. If you could, please hit the subscribe button down below. And if you hit the, there's a little notification icon. If you hit that, you'll get a notification when I release a new video. So again, I appreciate everybody's support. And if you could, please like and subscribe.